So I'm here in Southeastern Freight Lines picking up a pallet. What that is, stay tuned to find out. Here it goes. It's a big box. So we just heard a big bang outside. Something sounded like a tree or something hit either the RV or the truck. So Adrian's outside getting ready to go see what would happen. Yep, that's the leveling system for the RV that we're gonna do an install on. All right, so today we are installing, starting to install the Lippard Ground Control Auto Leveling System. So instead of having these guys as our way to help level our RV, we are going to use these guys. There's a lot of parts and pieces to it, so we're going to take you on the journey and uh, show you how to install it. These go underneath, like that, and these crossbars go across it kind of like that and then you attach the actual jacks so let's start this tire and that's going to give me my approach angle so then the jack has to be within that area it's probably going to be somewhere around here i'm assuming because it has it's nine and three quarter inches total so let's see how that works the only problem with my rv is it's not a problem because it's great but i have this underbelly cover but these mounts have to go here got this i-beam which is kind of weird because now i have to figure out a way to cut this thing which i really didn't want to but i'm gonna have to spray foam it kind of like you see spray foam there and there that way it protects it i think this is a good spot for it it's still within the triangle. All right, so now I have to measure from the center of the hanger, 48 inches max, 18 inches minimum. And within there, that space is where the jack will go. So let's do that now. I think I made a mark at the 18 inch mark and I made another one right there. So my jack has to be between these two dots pretty much. All right, so I have the other bracket on the other side installed. Now I'm taking this bracket and I'm gonna install it on this side. And it's gonna go over here where that white dot is. So I have to mark where the holes are gonna go so then I could drill on the I-beam the four bolts. Let me show you what the other side looks like. So as you can see there, I was able to drill the holes and put the carriage bolts in, cut out the bottom, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side over there. So then we can run and install the jacks. I'm here for the support. She's uh, the tool girl, maybe. Maybe. 
Would you like some cold water? Um, no, I'm good for now. Look, he's got all that dirt behind him on his uniform. Those of you who follow our channel know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm sad I can't help him much. Yeah. All right. So now I marked it. Hopefully this won't fall on my face. So here's our four marks. And that's where I'm going to drill to uh, attach the bracket. You okay? No, you okay? This is hot. This is hot. You guys hear our dog? She's being a brat. She wants to come outside. Okay? You okay? Huh? Yeah. <sighs> but you should have glasses on. Hello. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm blind. Maybe I need the glasses. All right, I gotta get up now. I'm gonna get bolts. You want me to get them for you? No, because you don't know which ones they are. Okay, would you explain to me which one? I need to get up in these. I'm supposed to be his tool girl, but how hard has this been? It's not hard. Oh, look at that. Oh no, you want me to? Yeah, it's, it's fine for now. Your first injury, huh? So do you think the average um, RVer could do this? Um, they could. They just need to take their time, figure it out, look at everything like I did. I could have done this two days ago, but I wanted to make sure I did it right. So I kind of took my So time. you did a lot of research, watched a lot of installations, right? Yeah, there's a, a really good technical video from Lippert that I looked at that I'll put it down in the comments below. I mean, down in the link. I'll put the link down below. So comment below who has a Lippert leveling system. Let us know who has it. We are going to link below all the videos that he found useful and helpful um, in doing his research so that he can do it himself. We did order it through eBay, which was the cheapest we found. Even going through Lippert, it was more. It was probably, what, about $1,200 more? So this is the, the belly. Keeps everything tucked in there. If you look, you see the wiring and all the duct for the heating in the winter. So we wanna keep that protected. So this underbelly keeps it, but it's in my way. So I'm just kind of cutting around this, like a form it. Will you put it back or will you leave it off? I'm putting it back. <gasps> Pew, I can smell this and it smells Tiki. If you haven't checked out our how to properly clean a black tank video, look above here. And did you guys notice we have a new truck? How do you like your new truck, Adrian? I like it. It's the beast. It is the beast. This look at all that room. Look at the beautiful top that your wife got you. Oh, yep. His wife is amazing. Sometimes. So, but look how beautiful it is. I'm gonna give you guys. Dirty. It's kind of dirty because there's a lot of pollen here. So once it's nice and clean and the inside, we've transferred everything because we only got it like a couple of weeks ago and then we went and traveled. We were barely home three or four days. Just to give you an update, we went from a 1500 to a 2500, which is beefier, more suspension, so we can tow that around and feel safe. This is the next step. What torque you wrench. What is that for? You have to torque the bolts to a specific. Like torquing it? 
No, not that kind of tour? No, that kind of tour. Yeah, let's go over here with this. So, here's your foot pounds. We need to go. I need 13 pounds. Which I think it's right there. 13 pounds of foot torque. That's so what, what I need. what does that do exactly? It gives you tightness on the bolt without over tightening them and making them crack or fracture. Because if you over tighten you could strip it, right? Or it could just break sheer off. And so, that's not good. So when I was in the Navy, these were something we used a lot. But we use it now. And these are all the screws. So I have the list of these are all the all the hardware. And then you have more harnesses and wiring. The sensors, which go one in the front, one in the back. This is how it levels. These are the sensors that tell you where it is. Let me see what, let me see. This is all the harnesses and wiring that runs from each jack all the way to inside and everywhere else. So, it's gonna take a while. This much done. That bracket, the other bracket. And then I started drilling this cross member that goes in between the two. As you can see, <laughs> my drill ran out of battery. So now I thought I had the battery with me, but I have to go to our storage unit to go check it out. Tomorrow's another day. I got the whole week to try to put this thing together and try to get it done. The wiring is gonna be Probably the more complicated part of it. Um, it's just time consuming. Other than that, I think we're good. All right, so here I am again, raising this up. Gonna line up the bolts. These two bolts with the two holes there and there, and then the two on the rear. Then I'd repeat the same step on the other side, and that's it. So once I get this done, then I could do the the tongue jack and um, then connect all the wiring. Okay, well now you gotta torque again. I'm gonna torque all the bolts then attach the pod up underneath. So let's do that now. All right, so we're down to the last one. Here it is. So same steps, same everything. Have the bolts there. Then I'm gonna run all the wiring up and under. I remove the panel here. So this is, uh, you know, power, water, this panel is usually here. So on the back side here, this is where I'm going to connect all the modules. All the wiring are going to come down through there, up to here. It's going to be attached. Um, right here is where I'm going to put the controls to do the leveling. Then I'll be done. Again, the last step is to do this, the tongue jack. I have to replace that. And I got to the end of the day today because we're in the road tomorrow. So let's continue. All right, so now I'm in the front. Got to put the front sensor. So it's got to face, arrow's got to face front, frontward. I already made the markings in the middle and now we're going to install it. It has to be right in the middle. So that way it levels, you know, side to side and then front to back. <sighs> yep, it broke. All right, I got a new bit. Let's see if I break this one. All right, 
that's all put together let's see if I can get this put together now all right so I have it almost installed then I connect the harness and bring it up so all the wiring the fun part all right done holy shamoli man Jesus this has been a really uh, adventure here now it's pointing front and back is pointing back we plug it in here and then I'm gonna run it all through here and then it's gonna go up through there and underneath here is the bay where everything is so let's uh, move on to the next thing all right so you see that's where it is right there the wire is gonna come up through there and come up through there <sighs> uh, let's do this got it through all the wires are here now so here's an update have the control box mounted on the back of the panel that is going to go here and then all the wiring is here sound from below i have all the wires tucked nice and neat all under there i have power connected zip ties it sucks i'll tell you it sucks i keep only thing i gotta do change this thing out but of course i bought some a jack and a jack stand they were too short so i have nowhere to put you know hold the weight of this giant thing this jack to be operable so i can lift it up and down here's the wiring for the new the new hitch because i'll have to leave that wire there um i have this all opened up in here i guess i'll leave it like that and when i get to wherever this place in chattanooga i guess i'll have to leave it there and then mess with it it's never easy destination which Adrian is really excited about because he's gonna be close to work there's a lot of interesting things around it and I just spotted one of my favorite places to go and that is Starbucks Starbucks as you know our home base is there it is Starbucks our home spot is in the mountains and there is no Starbucks and here we are slow there's the office we will be giving you a full review on this rv park as well so we're gonna go check in and we'll be back So we shall see. He's trying to get it going. We'll be back. All right. So here it is. New ton jack replaced. Wires all in. All of this stuff is connected. Gonna finish buttoning everything up and uh, show you how it works. All right. Are. Front jacks are deployed, grounding rear jacks. Whoop. Now it's going to level itself. So it goes one by one 
and so it figures it out it retracts it and levels it so i heard something going up and down is it done it is it's working it's working yes can you oh believe my it? god look can you believe it oh my god ah! <laughs> look where it's not moving it's Yay! stable it's stable, it's stable. yes it's Yes, yes, yes. It was a long journey, me making this thing. It took a couple weeks, but I finally did it. I finally got it done. It worked. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh stable. my God, it's solid. It's solid. It's not shaking. Woohoo! Yes. Hey guys, there's our RV, and I am just sitting here, just taking in this beautiful lake. The RV is kind of, park is kind of empty from when we got here. It was full. We got here a couple of, um, on the first. Yeah, we're gonna be showing you some of the RV park later on. It's a beautiful day today, and I just wanted to say good morning, good morning, good morning. Yikes! It's raining. Um, and pouring. I guess it's a snuggling watching.